But the French have contributed so many of the things that we love to eat. And our restaurant reviewer, Pat Miller, the Gabby Gourmet, is here in the studio with some of her favorite French dishes. I wonder why you're thinking French, French we and France so, uh, French. right now. How about taking your 13-year-old grandson to France? For two days. You're the best grandma it was in the world. fun, and now we're back, and we're still dreaming French, and these are samples. So you didn't get your fill of croissants and crepes and all that wonderful stuff. How could stuff. you ever? No, and you don't crepes have to. Crepes and crepes on 3rd Avenue, and it is downtown, is amazing. What's better than crepes? And these are very special ones. This crepe is filled with fruit chantilly and just beautiful. This crepe they've done with fabulous ice cream and berries and bananas. And that's their famous French uh, chicken gratin crepe. Wonderful. Got to go over there. And the they crepes. serve them in these beautiful Aren't dishes. Aren't they fun? Love these. I'm going to hold that up so everybody can see. They're actually from France. Yeah. How do you like that? I love that classic and design. And their crepes are divine. Then, of course, we have Bistro Vendome downtown on Larimer, and they do a wonderful job. Prettiest patio, great food. And this is their roast chicken with the cauliflower gratin, which is delicious. Over here is a beef uh, tartare with a quail egg and toast. The tiniest little egg ever. And she cooked that here, believe it or not. Really? And in front... The word of France is macaroons. How fabulous. Mm. These are raspberry filled. And if Joey could see them now, he'd go ape. Well, you should take those to him. <laughs> no, he had plenty. <laughs> Le Grand Bistro, which is down on Curtis and 15th, is doing great things. This is the tart Normandy, which is an apple tart with caramel. These are the raw oysters, and this week they're featuring our oysters oh. and doing oyster specials all week. And then in front is Coquille Saint Jacques. Some more very French food. Last, but who could say least, Radic and L'Atelier up in Boulder on 18th and Pearl. Okay, I, we should end there if we could, but let's do these first. This is rack of lamb with beluga lentils and beets. Fabulous. Then these are from his farm, and they're heirloom tomatoes. And if you can see right here, the lobster. Oh, yes, there, I see it all right. All right, with tomatoes in between. Yes, beautiful. And then his latest creation, he honestly has these made. Cinderella has big feet, very homemade, ship, handmade shoes. Nobody ever wore them, filled with desserts. You have ice cream. I have cheesecake and raspberry sauce. These are hilarious. And this is how they serve them at the restaurant. The first time they ever served me a shoe, I just looked up. I said, what? I bet all the ladies love it. Yes, but you're not allowed. They only give you one, so you can't take a pair home. Oh. <laughs> They don't want to lose oh, their those shoes. Those are wonderful. Anyway, Thank they're you, just Pat. some fun places to go for great French food right here without the airplane ride. Say magnifique, and we salute all the chefs who brought in these fabulous Isn't dishes to share with us today. Thank you. And you can find the complete list for Pat's uh, wonderful recommendations for French restaurants and her reviews on our website right now. Look for the lifestyle tab, then slide over to food. We're going to take a quick picture and we'll post this on our Facebook pages and, and on my web page, every place. Yeah, and I'll just meet you uh, at the restaurant. Au We're sending off. it back, back now to Dale.